Hey everyone, welcome to another Goodie Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. We have here the Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light 3. Yes. It's the highest resolution e-reader the Barnes & Noble's ever produced. It's 1440 by 1080 at 300 ppi. It is a 1 gigahertz processor. You have about 6 gigs of memory when the OS and everything is installed. Technically it's 8, but you have 6 of available memory and 1 gig available for sideloaded memory, which is like a thousand ebooks or so, um, or a combination of like PDF files and such um, yeah I mean it's not waterproof it's very affordable it's hundred nineteen dollars yes. so when you compare it against the Kobo Aura 1 which is like two like over like 220 right and then the Kindle Oasis which is like almost five hundred dollars Canadian so looking at this it's very different from a lot of e-readers you have raised physical page turn buttons the logo on the front and a raised button at the bottom that goes home and also uses to trigger the glow light on and off. It is not a flush screen and bezel as you can see right there if I catch the light. It's about a two millimeter drop. The back is a nice hard rubber so very good grip. A little bit of fingerprints. Nothing on either of the sides. There's no SD card slot. There's a power button and there's a micro USB on the bottom with a status indicator light. I just wanted to kind of show some parallels here real quick. We won't drag this on too long. We have the previous generation Nook, completely night and day difference. Gold, bronze backing, kind of kitchen-esque material on the front. Very shot out of left field, but you can see that they've almost regenerated their 2013 model, the Simple Touch, into the new model. Everything's laid out the exact same way. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh great, this is looking three or four years old, but what's inside is definitely not. So this is the main UI, and in tra if you've had previous generation Nooks, uh, the iconography has changed, and you can click here to go to your library, and it fires it up. Uh, you can sort by different things here, books, magazines, newspaper, your shelves, your files, archived, and everything else, so it'll show like absolutely everything, so we'll just click on books for now and it'll get rid of all the magazines and everything. Uh, by default, it's most recent, but you can search by both title and author name as well. And if you add in side load of content, you can click uh, like the sort of refresh button here and it'll scan everything. There's also a button here, view as grid, move to cloud, archive, and you can actually delete items physically on the device. So by default, there's really like no recommendations, bestsellers, uh, it has like literally like four pages of stuff here. Mm. But this stuff sort of changes, but you know, I mean, obviously romance and teens is one of the highest selling stuff. There's no web browser on this. And again, this is not a waterproof e-reader. If you click the center button here, uh, right above the logo, it will fire up the last ebook that you've opened. So you can just jump right into your last book. Uh, Nook readouts, has been around for a little while but it bears mentioning it really kind of just like talks about uh, books that ha are coming out has interviews with like authors we're basically on, on thrillers and mysteries right now uh, if you click on that you basically see you see these buttons like actually work but let's click at the bottom of the screen it's just basically like um, synapsis like on the book it's sort of like by the Barnes Noble like editors and stuff you had some things like like and share to social media platforms and yeah. stuff like that so you can see like all the different genres here serial reads uh, free ebooks books we're talking about let's take a look at an ebook so this is where the nook starts to really shine there are a lot of features that the Nook brings to the table that not only does no other Nook do, but no other e-reader does. So we'll try to skim through this as quick as possible to not blather on here. You can long press on a word and we can make a, uh, we can make a note. Standard keyboard, QWERTY keyboard, different levels of text and stuff like that. We'll just save a note as is. This thing's not the fastest e-reader. I mean, anything you do is just going to take a while. Like anything you click on. It just takes kind of a long time. So if we do some page turns, you see back and forward, you can tap, you can swipe, but if you press and hold, it scurries through the book and no other e-reader does this. Even the Japanese exclusive only 
Amazon Kindle manga model only does this in mangas. But right. this is so doing it on a book. So if you hold it down, it fast scrolls. Yeah. But if you double tap, it takes you to the next chapter. Yeah. And if you double tap the bottom one, it'll go from chapter 11 to chapter 10. Yeah. It'll skip chapter. So that's really cool. We can also long press again and box a lot of text. We can actually copy. Copy the text to a clipboard, which you can then paste on any field entry. So if you're if you're making a note or whatever, or you want to make a highlight, you press and hold, and you can actually paste it as well. You also have social media shares to Facebook, dictionary, even though it is kind of defining it here, and a search in book. You can also make a highlight. In terms of the text augmentation here, we can click on the double A. We can press up or down. You see the levels up above. You can also change the font style and you can change the thickness. It's not quite bold and italic, but you can change the font weight from thin to regular to thicker. So looking at an image, you actually can pinch and zoom. Be very, very patient. Sometimes it changes pages. Sometimes it actually registers your pinch and zoom. We'll try it one more time. There you go. There's uh, Daniel Craig's nose. So you can nav around. There's no mini map. It's very low quality when you're moving around, but you can do it. So that's really cool. You can turn pages and you can press the uh, physical page turn button. And yes, it scurries through the pages just like if you were in a uh, book and it turns it to A2 mode while it's doing it to lower the quality of the images, but increase the speed. Newspapers are very interesting and the buttons do different things depending on what you're doing. We'll see we're in sports here. We'll press forward. We're still in sports. So we'll go back to the sports section and we'll double tap. It'll actually take us to life. And then if I tap back, we go to sports. If I tap back, we go to money. So that's really cool. And you can press and hold. And once again, you fly through it just like you do on a PDF, a book, anywhere. You have that rapid page turn. So we have the reading light mode on. Uh, you can adjust the brightness as such, moving it to completely on or off. The LEDs are at the top pointing down. You do have two sets of LEDs, seven white, and in between the seven, six yellow that point downwards. And why you have the yellow ones is because you can turn on the warm light. And this is uh, from cool to warm based on your environment. And because this doesn't have a light sensor on it, they've done away with a physical light sensor. It goes by the time of day by clicking auto it sees that we're 105 p.m. So basically it's adjusted the light accordingly. So that's kind of cool. Um, you do have uh, brightness on and off, night mode on and off, so you don't have to use the orange yellow light if you want, but that's basically the quality of it. Uh, so overall, I think that the Nook is doing very interesting things yeah. with the buttons and the glow light experience. I, I found that it's very interesting that you could actually do the 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 luminosity of like the soft yeah. and warm colors yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on the day, which yeah. is unique. No other e-reader store does that. No. This really makes sense if you live in the States. It's a good alternative to the Amazon ecosystem. And if you are a person that fled Barnes & Noble a while ago and switched to Kobo or switched to Amazon, uh, this e-reader is pretty solid. Uh, all in all. So this is our review of the Nook Glowlight 3. Uh, it, it gets a buy from us, surprisingly. So for GoodyBeater.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.